All right, people. Welcome back. More League. Woo. All right, so we're going to be spending Sunday today. We're going to be uh, doing the playoffs for the regional division. So these are the yep. two middle teams that did not get the bye week. Of course, we'll be doing the bye week between uh, the team that got the bye week last week and uh, the winner between these two. So go ahead and tell us what we got. All right, so we have uh, we have the Zane Cyber Dragons, a.k.a. Slate, whose three decks are Heroes, a.k.a. Electrum FTK, Black Wings and Dustins versus the Jackarad Archerines, aka Studog, who has Burning Abyss, Fire Fist, and Worms. I wonder if Stu purposely put his picture as that. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, guess. That's... How is yo deck. <laughs> yes. So, uh, as you guys know how the playoffs work, or if you guys do not know how the playoffs work, it's best of three matches, people. Matches. So, uh, if someone gets too old match wise, then, you know, we're just moving on. But, uh, if it comes down to it, they will have to use all three decks, which is really interesting. So there is no order. There's no set order. They get to go ahead and just choose whichever deck they want to go ahead and start off with. And you guys can tell, they actually decided to go ahead and start off kind of cautiously. Go ahead and just start off with the tier three. Mm. Interesting. So we have Worms versus Dustin. Complete opposite of, um, what's it, yesterday's duels versus, you know, right uh, not Ryan, versus uh, Tyler and Luna. Well... I guess that's correct. <laughs> well, it was. Not, no, they didn't. No, you know. I mean, you said Ryan, and then you're like, no, my bad. I mean, technically, there's a Ryan. <laughs> we just never call him by Ryan. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> nope. So, I'm wondering how this duel is going to go down. Dustin versus Worm. It seems like this is going to be a while of a duel. Because, of course, they're both pretty passive decks, and they own. Well, Worms are kind of a passive deck, they're kind of slow. Well, it seems like uh, Slate will kind of try to take the duel slow and get ready for the plays. Wow. Damn, oh, that just deserves burn. That's Take that 500, you Damn, bitch. there's that meteorite. Bam, time to crash down. Oh, God. Oh, my God. If they ever make a searcher for that card, it might actually be, like, better than <laughs> tier 3. <laughs> That's such a good card. Change all face-down position. Face-down monsters on the field to face up the position. During the end phase this turn, which you can find, change all face-up light monster red piles you control back to what? Face, face down. down defense and then draw a card for each. Yeah. And then after that, you can special summon one level 7 or higher light rep It's just like, do everything. Just it's just do like, everything. do everything. Draw, draw, get your flip effect, reset it, and then summon a 7. Like, so good. If they ever make a searcher for that card... That could actually make Worms tier 2. I could see him being tier 2. Because being able to bust a 27 beta out the deck like that, that ain't terrible. That's still pretty damn good. Double flip, double search, double the pressure. Yeah. And of course, we have a little Stygian Security here, which of course he would love to go ahead and special summon a level 1 fiend from his deck, because his deck is pretty much all of that. House dust and let's go. But oh, the said, king when this... can pop something, can't he? Yeah, when this card is destroyed by battle, and king says, go ahead and tribute. Uh, <laughs> a re light reptile to pop. Yep. Oh, there's Pokemon X. <laughs> so it looks I like the pressure might already begin. Yep, King Pop. Wow. And the pressure is already on. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> um, <laughs> we just got quiet for like a second, Dan. You were going to say something. I, um, I've said this before, but King looks like he's got a toothy vagina there. God damn it. <laughs> Why? We, could, we couldn't keep this PG-13 no. PG for one video. No. If you want it like that, you got to get a different co-host. Just try to keep it PG for like for like one video, and then we keep it. And then at the end of the video, it's like, penis, damn it! <laughs> 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 no. PG thirteen, PG thirteen, pussy juice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go up to the mic and be like, "Oh, King gives it once per turn, so he can just go ahead and just yeah. ship it himself." That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, well, there's Pokemon X. Oh uh, damn, he's gonna get Pokemon Y. Yeah, then he's gonna go. <laughs> And then next, next, uh, the Konami are gonna make a new worm. It's gonna be in the shape of a Z. And Zygarde. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Z. X Y Z. Oh, X Y and Z. Oh, and they can X Y Z, and that's free. Oh, Half Life three confirmed. 
<laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> That's actually what you do if you exceed <laughs> you exceed yeah, X, Y, and Z. They make a Y. They make a Y, and then it's X, Y, and Z, and they have like a, their own XCs for it as well. And it's like, oh, and they can do that. Oh, oh. Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> So that should that should be the effect as well. You can like blow up one monster. Also, Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is: Does Slate like, have the cards to go on the offensive and uh, maybe come back into the duel? So like I, I said, I do not. I am not the biggest fan of Slate when it comes to the league. It's just so sacky. You know, a lot of his decks <laughs> are just really sacky. You know. Like Electrum FTK and Dustin's like, trying Electrum, to burn. Yeah, Electrum and this that don't give a fuck about what he's facing. <laughs> Just gonna try and get that little of FTK thing off, and if it doesn't work, well, guess you lose. Yeah, it's like oh, not the biggest fan of that. I hate that card. Yep, it's so fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and it's never used. No one ever uses Black Garden without it being sacky. Damn. No one. Uh, when's the last time you heard someone say, I'm going to put Black Garden in my deck, and it won't, and I'm not intending to make it a sacky card? Well, when's the last time you heard someone say that? Never. <laughs> exactly. Because everyone always plays it with the intention of being fucking sacky with it. Next, that couldn't have, so I'm talking. Yep. So if X is much stronger than that token, so that's 200. I said I'm just trying to figure out where Slate's gonna go with this. I said I would I... love to go ahead and go to match three, just so once again we can see the use of all three decks. He has actually been pretty good when it comes to using all three decks. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I wish Kyle hadn't used his fucking tier one deck oh now. The <laughs> last week. I mean, they made for a funny video, but yeah, I'll take that one hundred. I, I lost faith in humanity even more. So is Slate gonna actually pull something off? I mean, and Slate still has to get through that three, those three back rows too. I mm -hmm. would not be surprised if that's just another meteorite down there. That card is so good. It's probably one of the best Dean Pacific cards. Yeah, it is. It's just a shame that the rest of the worms really aren't the best. Yeah, they're kind of slow. Yeah, at least they're better than aliens. I don't know. Aliens can do a bit more if they get the right cards going. <laughs> I've seen aliens do shit. Weak. The counter and the minus three hundred attack and defense. Like really, like eight counters. <laughs> so what's up, Slate? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Stu comes for you? Mm-hmm, because it's only an uphill battle from here. It would be best to go ahead and get the match win here now, Slate, because... Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, versus Stu's other decks, Burning Abyss and fucking Firefest? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be a bitch of a battle. Much faster I mean... and we'll apply a lot more pressure. Yes. It's still late. We just still going on. I don't know why you think it's not who's, over. It's not who's over. Saying, who's saying what? Neo Ghouls. He's like, you guys still do, doing this event thing. It's like, it's not over. <laughs> no. It's not over. It's almost over. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. So we'll start singing something. Yeah. Damn. I, you see, I was trying to be polite. I was going to say, I was actually going to finish that off with, where's your mom when we need her? But I didn't. See? I'm nice like that. Wait, when this card is flipped face up, select one face up monster your opponent controls and return to that. Understand? Oh, but it's gonna be flipped up because of meteor, right? And yeah. then the Yagen effect wears off. Yeah, a couple more weeks. We're almost done, people. I We're think we got this. I think we got two more weeks after this, haven't we? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Bam. Wow, oh, Yagen's gonna bounce the token. That he could have bounced the yellow dust and cut his nebulite. You flip them all face up, then Yagen's effect is going to go off. Then put it back down. Show a card. Damn, then just drop mm -hmm. a storm. So I guess, and the summoning of the reptile is optional, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. You can. Yeah, after that, you can special song on Love and Stuff on a higher light reptile. But I guess he's like, no, I'm good. Do no, they I'm have, I wonder if they people. have any others other than King. Uh, they have Queen. <laughs> mm. They have a Queen. <laughs> yep. So. Is she any good or is she shit? I have no idea. I just know they have a Queen. And they have a Fusion, too. King, yeah. pop that. So this says, well, this face of card in the field is... Alright, what? Well, well, I know it has some kind of effect, right? Once destroyed, target one monster in their graveyard and shuffle it back into the deck. The controller, so that would be slight. I don't. I, there was an attorney. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, y'all can go and flip. Put that back in your hand, and the pressure is real. So Black Guardian doesn't need to be on the field to resolve the cut anymore. So King is just still cut in half, right? Yeah. Okay. And like I said, this is one of the slower decks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like Stu's pushing. Tack, I ain't doing that math. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your job's here for. No. Not ours. Look at 1350. You're the math guy. 550. Yeah, that's right. Tack for 1000. Tack for 12. Yep. 24 left. Still, still not over, but that's the thing. This is one. This is one of Stu's slower decks. This is even the faster deck. Like, just think if Stu was playing like BA or freaking Fire Fist, for goodness sakes, it, it would have been over way quicker. <laughs> like I said, Dorms don't really go on the offensive, so it's interesting to see Stu on the offensive with this deck. Mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of glad to see. Then, this then deck. again, that's because Slate's playing so passively. Mm -hmm. What's he kind of has to go on the offense, or he'll give Slate so much breathing room to gain advantage and come back into the door. Yeah, you can't leave so, that breathing room. Yeah. So that's to apply the pressure and quit. Is to just hold his breath and rip off that band-aid, because we All do right. not want to see that how, how so it's shining draw, Slate. Go. Let's go, Slate. <laughs> see what you can do, because, oh my god. You gotta get through all that back row. King is ready. <laughs> His Kingus body is ready. Is Slate played Regeki? I think he yep. has. Yep. Yeah. Yes. All right. So not no damn so no Regeki to save you this time. Mm -hmm. Dark hole. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Did you say maybe baby too? Yes. <laughs> I like saying that. What the maybe, fuck maybe. is wrong with you? You don't remember the episode of American Dad? No. I didn't watch. I watch a little American Dad. I don't watch much. I'm more of a Family Guy kind of person. Okay. American Dad. <laughs> I'm Family Guy and Simpsons, not American Dad and other stuff. I've just like... gotten the Simpsons. Wow. Like, ever since Ronnie moved in, he likes to watch Simpsons. I'm All right. Watch well, it, what's really... what Simpsons? New or old? I don't know. Whatever the fuck is on. Right. FX just shows a whole bunch. I'm not really, you know. Into Simpsons enough to be like, oh yeah. Simpsons, Simpsons isn't bad nowadays. It's meh. But back in the day, it was fucking king. It was boss. It was great. But it's been going for like what nearly, I think nearly thirty years. So yeah, they're starting to run out of ideas. So the episodes are now mostly meh. There are a few good ones, but they're mostly meh. Hmm. I haven't even watched enough to give my opinion on the show. I'd say I've watched no more than 20 episodes. The Halloween special ones are great. They're all, like, spooky, evil ones. Like, there's one fucking time when, um... Uh, bloody, uh... How Bart Simpson's line to the principal Skinner is always, Eat my shorts. Uh, one of them, like, the teachers start killing the students in the Halloween special, right? And, like, serving them as meat in, like, burgers and food and fattening the other kids off and then eating them and stuff like that, right? And then, like, there's, uh, this giant meat grinder and he... Skinner is backing Bart to the meat grinder and he's like, he licks his lips dead creepily. He's like, you know, Bart, I think I'll begin, as you've so often suggested, by eating your shorts. I'm like, that was fucking creepy. <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about Simpsons here, but yeah. uh, as you can tell, nothing is happening. No. Slate is literally just sitting here. Okay, I'm going to well, stop checking that guy's messages because I need to pay attention to this. I don't like to be rude to my viewers and subscribers, but I really need to focus on this. <laughs> mm. Damn. 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 Go back to the hand. Go back to the hand, Yellow Dustin. He already knows it's you. <laughs> no. No. Damn. Damn. Alright, I think that might be it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, uh... GG? I, I mean, I guess. I mean, Slate's got an entire siding to yep. do something with, so yay. I mean, there's hope, I guess. I hope... I really hope that that set card's a Toronto Tribute, because if not, that's game. It doesn't... Well, Does it, it doesn't matter? matter? No, it doesn't matter. Nope. Yep. No, it doesn't. Alright, okay. people. Well, they're back. Alright, let's do this. Game two, Game two. of match one. Oh, so, we said it at the same time. Jinx. I ain't no weird shit. <laughs> Jinx. No, oddish, son. <laughs> I'll fucking Mr. Mime your oddish, yeah? Well I'll, well, I'll muck spell backwards. How about that? Yeah. You want to get back to commentating about Yu-Gi-Oh? I guess. Oh look, Pokemon X and Y. Oh, I'll just Pokemon Y. Damn. Stu's like, you know what, Mulligan. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even have X. Damn. That hand is not bad. No, I mean that hand. Okay. That I don't know why. The, what the fuck you would think? Okay, sure. Oh, it's stuck with that hand. Yeah, me too. The ice hand would apply plenty enough pressure. Me too. Mm-hmm. And then you had the mistake and the fairy wind if he does like face up shit like his black garden and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, but hey, whatever, Stu. It's your choice. Yep. And Slate's no mulligan, so I guess Slate's got a good hand. Yep. It's gonna be kinda of hard to pull off the plays and apply pressure on Stu when he can easily Turn the switch, go on the offensive, and stay on defensive. Mm-hmm. Nice balance deck. A really good choice, in my opinion, for a tier 3 Yeah, it was pretty three. good, yeah. Might not be the strongest of the tier 3 decks, but it's a pretty good tier th choice of a tier 3 deck. Oh. Oh, what? You don't want your sacky ass just dessert, just dessert, just dessert? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. That was a pretty bad hand, though. <laughs> yeah, it was. Like I said, Stu, I should have went. I think you should have kept that first hand and went on the offensive. But but Slate, I thought you didn't like the Mulligan rule. So why are you using it? <laughs> <laughs> when that Mulligan rule got put in, Slate was the biggest like person going on about it. Mm-hmm. And now he's like, oh, Mulligan, like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. You don't mind the Mulligan rule now? It's saving your ass, do you? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I guess go ahead and grab that black garden. We're just gonna take this duel really oddly. The only problem I... is, is that black doesn't, garden doesn't go off on a monster's flip summon. The only normal summon or special summon. So yeah. So Stu's just like, oh, I'll just flip summon all my monsters, and then no black garden for you. Ha ha. <laughs> Cause fuck you. Okay, at least put up some entertainment. <laughs> at least put up some kind of fight. Don't just get too old, duel wise and match wise. I just mm. <laughs> show us the reason why you made it to the playoffs. Well, we already saw that because Kyle's bad. Damn. I'm sorry, Kyle. I'm still disappointed in you, and I know that's worse than not being angry, but still. So. I'm gonna go ahead and summon that token on Steve's side of the field and crash this security. Nope. Has to be destroyed by battle. Get that mirror for us. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Bitch, you guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> you was right. <laughs> what is the point of that song? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so Stu handled that very wisely. The mirror forces though. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, there's Ice Hand. Bam! Take that 800. Bam! Take that 1400. There ain't no Gorons up in here. It's the drop track though. <laughs> if he yeah. plays it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if he does. I don't know. I'm not checking. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion all the fuck, yeah. <laughs> What's what's the plan now? You got an idea? You got some another side you need to try to push again? The mirror force is very well used. 
It's good against security. Not so much against the other Dustins, because they're just destroyed, period. Like House Dustin. I said, that's the probably reason why I don't like this deck too much. It relies way too much around House Dustin. House Dustin is literally the center point of this deck. Mm. And with Slate trying to get dirty with it, like really? I really think that his, oh, his only trap lineups are just just deserts and ceasefires. I think they are. Maybe he sided to some other traps in, but we haven't seen him yet. Hmm, let's see who's going on the defensive. Interesting. I guess he doesn't want it in case it's a Stygian se uh, security. Or a Such as Dustin's. Or House Dustin's, yeah. yeah. House Dustin's the start of the deck. He mm -hmm. gets that House Dustin Clash and it's on. I think you get to summon like a whole bunch of level one fiends on both sides of the field. Yep. Then you get to summon uh, what's that one fiend monster's name? King of the King of the Fiends or something? I don't even know its fucking name. I don't know. But it's like it gains a thousand attack rate fiend Feet. monster. On yeah, the which is fucking silly. So there is House Dustin. Yeah. Yep, and it's cute that you want to go on the defensive Stu, but the problem is, is that you still get that token in attack position. This way the card is destroyed by your opponent, either by battle or by card effect. They were sent to this. Mm hmm. And it's flaked so, up the damage. So, I hope up. you got another mirror floor. Oh no, by, or by card effect. Alright. Yep, I, I hope you got like a, uh, a D prison or a compulse. You could just summon a whole bunch of dust and monsters. And just shit all over your deck. face. You must like, also summon monsters equal number on each side of the field. We'll be seeing maybe the spread out of the Dustins evenly. Mm hmm. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and see House Dustin crash, and we're about to see an overflow of Dustin, so. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Does this card have to be sent to a graveyard? Yes, it does, yep. people. Yes, oh, it fucking yeah. does. Damn. You, you fucking lose at this point. Damn. Hashtag deja vu. What's it mean by that? <laughs> I don't know, maybe someone played macro against them, or maybe last time he dueled against... I forget. Or I someone... can't, I can't I think, like, If someone in the comments knows, then tell us. Oh well. Right. It's really late. Maybe it's freaking seven weeks, four weeks each. It's freaking 28 duels, I, I don't even remember. <laughs> they all blurred, yeah, I mean, they blurred together into one big fucking thing for me about three weeks ago. <laughs> so, it's all, it's all blurred together and now Stu is prepared to go on the offense now since that macro is up doesn't even matter because they are getting banished and I see it go slight please uh, no. nope. gone get out of here the card doesn't have to go to the graveyard and this card in the field is destroyed period yeah you target one monster in the graveyard and shuffle it back into the deck yep. so yeah mm. all right but house is like nah I need to go to the graveyard man <laughs> Yeah, and macro. Hopefully, something. Mm -hmm. Now the tokens are beating the shit out of you. You can get jumped by tokens. So yeah, unless Slate gets rid of this damn macro, that's pretty much a GG for him at this point. Yep. But he really doesn't have to worry. Hyper. But you, I mean, you can tribute. Did you say tribute? Yeah, just tribute. Yeah, okay. tribute this card, draw one card, and reveal yeah. it. The monster. Yep. So other one monster. Nope. Oh, well, you get the MST though. Yeah, that's something. Yep. So, you can take care of that uh, macro. Uh, yep, the pesky macro that's getting in your way on your place. You know what card actually might be interesting for you, for Gradle, you Bell? What? Watchdog. What does that it, do? It's a monster where you normal summon it, you can't special summon when you if you're going to activate the effect, and then during your main phase 2, you can set a continuous spell from your deck on the field, meaning you can set Gradle Impact. And I think it's like a 1500 attack monster or something like that. No, we'll talk about it more. Yeah. After after this. I don't even know why you bring that up right now. Because I was just thinking, like, um, no, I was thinking of continuous spells, and then it and then Watchdog pumped into my head. Oh well. Anyway, that's nice match done. Yep. So that's match one, people. So of course we'll be back in uh, about two hours. 
and go ahead and give you guys match two and whether we will need a match three. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy. So uh, thank you, Stanti, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys uh, with uh, match two. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Thank you.